robbing us. Allow me to explain how our private banks and government work today. First, the Canadian government borrows money from the private banks. They then lend the debtless money to Canada with compounded interest. The government then continues to increase taxation of Canadians year after year in order to pay back the interest on the exponentially growing national debt. What results is inflation, less real money for Canadians to spend into our economy, and the real money being used to pad the pockets of the banks. Also, the government gave the banks the ability to loan out money that doesn't exist in the form of loans. When a bank gives you a mortgage, which literally means a death pledge or a loan, they don't actually give you money. They click a key on a computer and generate the fake money out of thin air. They don't actually have it in their bank vaults. Presently, the banks only have four billion dollars on reserve, but they have loaned out over 1.5 trillion dollars. To quote Graham Towers, each and every time a bank makes a loan, a new bank credit is created. New deposits, brand new money. Broadly speaking, all new money comes out of a bank in the form of loans. As loans are debt, then under the present system, all money is debt. What I find interesting is even Jesus in Matthew 21 drove out the money changers in the temple because they were manipulating the currency to steal money from the people. The private banks are just like the money changers in Matthew 21. They are defrauding and robbing the people of Canada, thus their freedom, and they need to be stopped. How should the banking system work? In an infamous interview, Mr. McGeer asked Mr. Towers, can you tell me why a government with power to create money should give that power away to a private mon monopoly and then borrow that which parliament can create itself back at interest to the point of national bankruptcy? Mr. Towers replied, if parliament wants to change the form of operating the banking system, then certainly that is within the powers of parliament. In other words, if the Canadian government needs money, they can borrow it directly from the Bank of Canada. The people would then pay fair taxes to repay the Bank of Canada. This tax money would in turn get injected back into our economic infrastructure and the debt would be wiped out. Canadians would again prosper with real money as the foundation of our economic structure and not debt money. Regarding the debt money owed to the private banks, such as the Royal Bank, we would simply have the Bank of Canada print the money owing, hand it over to the private banks, and then clear the debt with the Bank of Canada. And yes, we have the power and lawful right to do so. In conclusion, it has become painfully obvious, even for me, a 12-year-old Canadian, that we are being defrauded and robbed by the banking system and a composite government. What will we do to stop this crime? What will we do to ensure that the next generation will live free and clear of the debt-based economy that enslaves them to the banks? Margaret Mead said the following, and I hope that all of you remember this. Never doubt that a small group of people can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Thank you.